can count on. And you're taking a live look out there again at the windy conditions. <clears throat> Let's come out here. Meteorologist Brian Ramsey with us this evening on the Sunday evening. Yeah. Uh, very dangerous when we're talking about fires. We've already seen some fires flare up earlier today. Yes, we have. Let's hope that's it. Yeah, so we got to hope that's it. Now, right now, the winds are strong in the valley, but they will be picking up at the foothills later today, later tonight. But the current humidity out there is also pretty dry, so when you have dry air, it makes that vegetation extremely easy to burn. And whenever you see single digit humidity like that in the valley and teens in the mountains, again, even some single digits in the mountains, I mean, look at humidity in Chester, 9%. So it's just dry across the area and also pretty windy uh, as well. So as I take a look uh, at the winds, uh, for some reason, my clicker is not working. So there we go. Okay. I was about to go over to my computer to click it manually, but here we go. The current winds right now still pretty strong across the valley. Uh, Still lighter across the foothill regions. I mean, look at that seven mile per hour wind in Paradise, eight mile per hour wind in Mineral. That's not that strong, but it will be getting a lot stronger later today. And the wind gusts right now are already very strong in the valley, uh, but they haven't quite picked up in the foothills yet. Now, the strongest gusts that we've seen so far have mostly been in the valley. So the Reading Airport has recorded a gust of 48 miles per hour. We've also seen 40 mile per hour gusts uh, near Anderson and near Cottonwood. As we look at other of these weather stations across our area, the Tuscan Buttes, that's northeast of Red Bluff, has recorded a gust of 39 miles per hour. So very strong winds in the valley for today. As we go through the day, this is 8 o'clock tonight. Notice those winds. The purple indicates anything above 40 miles per hour really picking up in the foothills. And that's going to last as we go into our overnight hours. So Monday, 3 o'clock in the morning, see all that purple? That's above 40 miles per hour. So very strong winds still gusting in the foothills even into tomorrow. So this is Monday, just after lunchtime. Still seeing some stronger winds in the area, but the winds will eventually calm down as we go into Monday night. Tuesday could pick up again a little bit in the foothills, but I don't think it'll be too bad on Tuesday. Now, uh, as we, well, that was two wind future cast. So here we go. We have that low pressure system. It's sitting to our east, and that's the reason why we're seeing these strong winds. We've got a big high pressure system in the Pacific, a big low pressure system to our east. These two competing systems are leading to very strong northerly and easterly winds, offshore winds in California. That's causing a widespread fire danger event across the entire state. But as it moves southeast, it will eventually get far enough away from us to reduce wind speeds in our area. And that's going to happen Monday night and Tuesday. As for the current temperatures right now, though, still very cool out there, feeling pretty nice. 70 degrees in Chico, all the way down to 64, though, in Redding. It's been a lot windier in Redding, and even in the 30s right now in Modoc County. So if your high temperature for today is in the 30s and you're in Modoc County, oh my goodness, guess how cold it's going to get tonight? Eight degrees in Alturas. That is freezing, literally. I'm talking uh, getting almost below five degrees. That is just really cold out there. Ten miles, uh, or uh, 10, 10 degrees in uh, Fort Bidwell, and as we go to Chester, 17, 15 in Indian Valley, 19 in Quincy. This is just very frigid out there, and we're going to see that continue over the next few days with those well below freezing temperatures. Highs tomorrow getting into the 70s in the valley. Still some 50s in the mountains, though, so it's going to remain pretty cool uh, out there. Tomorrow, though, is chicken fried steak day, so I've got to end this with some good news at least. You know, enjoy that chicken fried steak. Lunchtime tomorrow being about 66 degrees. As for your 7 day forecast in Chico, high 71 degrees for tomorrow. 78 for Tuesday and then 79 for Wednesday. That's maybe 80 degrees. That'll be the warmest day of the week, uh, which will be the middle of your week next week. Once we go to Halloween, we're all the way back down to 69 degrees, which means you won't be sweating too much in that Halloween costume. As for Reading, high of 74 for tomorrow, all the way up to 85 for Tuesday and then back down to 70 for Halloween. You know what I didn't see in that seven day forecast? What? Rain. I know. We yeah. Need it bad. It's unfortunate. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be going into November yep. with no rain. Okay. Yeah. Meteorologist Brian Ramsey, thank you for that. Well, if you've ever been to the East Bay Hills, I used to live there actually, you'll know that it's a maze of roads. Coming up, we'll show you why it's a fire danger as well.